Hello guys, good evening. Yes, oh, or oh, fine, yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can upload to, uh, on class pro also. Uh, I have to check once tomorrow you can upload. Okay. Not today. Tomorrow you can upload. Okay. So where were we in the last class? Yeah, that's what today I'll do that and you can upload it tomorrow. Okay. Oh God, actually. I think we had done sodium hydroxide last class, right? Yeah, preparation and all. Okay, have we discussed sodium peroxide Na2O2? Yeah, preparation of NaOH we have done so will. Have we done the properties? Properties of NaOH? Yes or no? Done, right? Okay. Yeah, fine. So next slide down, the next compound we have that is sodium peroxide. All of you write down the heading. Na2O2, just a second. Okay, sodium peroxide we are going to start with Na2O2. Okay, write down 
See on an industrial on an industrial scale, it is prepared by the reaction of Na with O2. Like you see, two Na plus O2. The temperature we use around six twenty Kelvin, and it converts into Na two and O2 here. Right. Atmospheric oxygen we are taking. It is heated with the air which is free from moisture and carbon dioxide. So it reacts with atmospheric oxygen and converts into Na2O2. Some properties of this, if you see. usually the sodium peroxide is you know the pure form of this is colorless powder pure form is colorless powder but due to the presence of superoxide due to the presence of sodium superoxide sodium superoxide that is nao2 it is faint yellow slightly yellow in color okay it is a powerful oxidizing agent it is a peroxide so powerful oxidizing agent powerful oxidizing agent in contact with a oh, one reaction of example of this i'll write down you see if it reacts with 2 cr oh thrice plus the peroxy ion 3o2 2 minus peroxy ion is this it converts into 2 cr o4 2 minus Plus two OH minus plus two H two. Okay, one more important property of this is Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I'll go back. N O two O two gives this O two two minus ion. You see, N A two O two. We have it gives two N A plus plus O two two minus. So this O two two minus we are using here. Yeah, done.
third property you see third property is Na2O2 Na2O2 in contact with with moist air turns white turns white due to the formation of Na2CO3 due to the formation of Na2CO3. If you look at the reaction here, the reaction is 2NaO2 Na2O2 plus 2H2O. It converts into 4NaOH plus O2. This is the first step. Next step, this NaOH reacts with CO2 and converts into Na2CO3 and H2O. So because of this presence only, it becomes white. Another point, Na2O2 is diamagnetic diamagnetic in nature. Na2O2 is diamagnetic in nature. One very important reaction of this is on reaction with on reaction with cold dilute H2SO4 cold dilute H2SO4 it gives hydrogen peroxide it gives H2O2 if you look at the reaction here Na2O2 plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus H2O2. This one is cold and dilute. Then One second, Ruba. Previous slide, right? You haven't written.
This is the one. Okay, all of you are done. See, with cold dilute acid, it gives hydrogen peroxide. Okay, if acid is is hot over here, hot concentrated, in that case, it eliminates or it evolves oxygen gas. Okay, so write down on reaction with. on reaction with hot acids it evolves it evolves oxygen o2 gas okay so uh, the reaction is 2na2o2 plus H2SO4, this gives 2Na2SO4 plus H2O and oxygen gas releases. So this property you must remember. Done? Okay. Write down the next compound we have, sodium bicarbonate. NaHCO, see I'm doing only the important one, okay? NCRT you have to revise and these chapters are like you have to mug up. Right, there's nothing to understand. So you have to memorize things, correct? So I'm doing the important one, but NCRT thoroughly you have to go through. Okay, line by line you have to study. Sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3. We also call it as sodium hydrogen carbonate. Is also known as sodium hydrogen carbonate okay this is the common name of this one is we also call it as baking soda okay common name is baking soda How do we prepare it? It is prepared with the help of Na2CO3. Okay, so what happens? We take Na2CO3 and we dissolve this in a saturated solution of carbon dioxide. So we have CO2 and H2O, and in this, you dissolve Na2CO3. It converts into two molecules of NaHCO3. This is the preparation method we have. Okay. This reaction is 
reversible also means if you heat this sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3, two molecules of this, if you heat this at around uh, six or sorry, 375 Kelvin, it converts into the formal product, which is Na2CO3 plus CO2 and H2O. Hence, we always say that we also say that on, on heating, sodium bicarbonate evolves carbon dioxide. Okay, some properties of this, you see, it is a crystalline compound, exists in powder form. We also call it as crystalline powder. It is a crystalline powder. Its solution is alkaline in nature. Alkaline in nature. Okay, why it is alkaline? You can understand, I'll discuss this. First, you copy down this. Okay, now why it is alkaline in nature, you see, it is a salt, right? NaHCO3 is a salt. How does this salt form? If you take an acid, a base like NaOH and an acid, suppose I'm taking H2CO3, right? This acid, if you remember, it is, a, it is carbonic acid. carbonic acid, weak acid it is. Okay, this is hydroxide, a strong base. So when this reaction takes place, monobasic acid, if it behaves, it forms NaHCO3 and H2O. I said mono acid, Monobasic acid it behaves. It means that it doesn't mean that it is monobasic acid. H2CO3 is a dibasic acid, but it forms NaHCO3 when it behaves as monobasic. Are you getting it? Yes. It behaves as monobasic to form NaHCO3. So this salt you see, NaHCO3, it is a salt. And we say it is a salt of a strong base and weak acid. Since base is strong, so this will have the basic property dominating here. That's why the solution is alkaline. Then, okay, one well, last compound we'll see for sodium it is sodium carbonate. Na2CO3. 
Na2CO3 have various hydrated forms. Na2CO3, this is the anhydrous form we have. So it has various hydrous and anhydrous form. If you look at this example, if I simply write Na2CO3, so it is the anhydrous form we have. If you write uh, Na2CO3 dot H2O, it is monohydrate form. Monohydrate. If you have Na2CO3 dot 7H2O, it is heptahydrate form. 7H2O, heptahydrate, if it is Na2CO3 dot 10H2O, it is decahydrated form. And the most important one is the decahydrated one because this we call it as washing soda. washing soda. Then okay, the preparation one method we have that is solve ammonia soda process. Preparation name also it is important. The process name is Solve Ammonia Process. Ammonia Process, or we also call it as Solve Ammonia Soda Process. Both are same thing. ammonia soda process, write down. In this process, write down in this process, CO2 is passed through passed through Brin solution. Brin solution means water plus salt. Brin solution saturated with ammonia. saturated with ammonia. And sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate forms. Okay, so the reaction here is we have NH3, H2O, 
and CO2. This gives NH4 HCO3 plus H2O. Ammonium bicarbonate. NH4 HCO3 is ammonium bicarbonate. This ammonium bicarbonate in the next uh, step, this first forms NH4 HCO3. Then it reacts with the Brin solution. Brin solution means water plus salt we have, right? So it takes NaCl from the Brin solution and it converts into NaHCO3 plus we'll get NH4Cl. Right, we'll get NaHCO3, this will precipitate. This NaHCO3 will heat strongly and it converts into Na2CO3 plus H2O plus CO2. Then, you know, till here it's fine, but the problem is what? That this Na2CO3 that forms, it is highly contaminated with ammonium salt, right down here. It is highly contaminated with contaminated with ammonium salt. Okay, to remove this contamination, what we do, to remove this contamination, we allow this to react with aqueous solution of carbon dioxide, okay? So it is purified by blowing carbon dioxide through its aqueous solution. So what we have next, this Na2CO3, further in the next step, it is allowed to passes through an aqueous solution of CO2, which further this converts again into sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3. And then when we heat this strongly, this converts into Na2CO3 plus H2O plus CO2. So this, after this step, the sodium carbonate that we get, it is fairly pure. Okay, so this is the way we prepare NaHCO3 here. Properties you write down. It is a white crystalline solid. exist as decahydrated form its temperature based reaction is very important Look at this reaction here. 
And for this reaction, you need to memorize the temperature. For example, you see, if you have the decahydrated form Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O, and if you heat this below 375 Kelvin or 370 Kelvin, it converts into monohydrated Na2CO3 dot H2O and 9H2O will eliminate here. Further, if you heat this, temperature is more than 375 Kelvin, it converts into Na2CO3, the anhydrous form and water eliminates. Okay, so this anhydrous form is also known as soda ash. Soda ash. Okay, soda ash. Finished. Okay. Right on this soda ash, we'll have few reactions here, important reaction. Right on soda ash or right on like this Na2CO3. On reaction with, on reaction with silica, Silica is SiO2. On reaction with silica, it forms sodium silicate. So the reaction is Na2CO3. plus SiO2 converts into Na2SiO3 plus CO2. This is sodium silicate. Sodium silicate. And it is also known as water glass water glass or soluble glass Correct, water glass or soluble glass. Okay, copy this down. We'll discuss some compounds of potassium, only one or two, not much.
Okay, write down next some compounds of potassium. Okay, the first one we write down here, potassium hydroxide. Hydroxide, K-O-H. See the preparation of potassium hydroxide, you see, it is prepared by the reaction of slaked lime, that is CaOH whole twice, with K2CO3. We'll see how to prepare potassium carbonate also. Converts into CaCO3, it precipitate out and forms 2KO. Okay. It can also be prepared by also be prepared by electrolysis of KCl, aqueous KCl actually. So the reaction at cath, it is similar to the electrolysis of NaCl. Okay, so at cathode, the reaction is 2K plus plus 2H2O plus 2 electron. It converts into H2 plus 2KOH. At anode, the reaction is 2Cl minus converts into Cl2 plus 2 electron. This is what we get at cathode. Then and one more thing, its property is very much similar to NaOH. Okay. So we have the same thing here. Next I don't potassium carbonate K. 2CO3. K2CO3. This we also call it as potash or Pearl ash, also known as simply potash or pearl ash.
write down it is prepared by it is prepared by heating potassium nitrate and carbon it is prepared by heating potassium nitrate and carbon so if you look at the reaction 4 kno3 plus 5c converts into 2 k2co3 plus 3 co2 plus 2 and 2 okay this is one method it is also prepared by prepared by carbonation of carbonation of caustic potash which is the reaction 2 koh plus co2 carbonation is nothing but the reaction with co2 it forms k2co3 plus h2 done over oh, wow. video okay one last compound we'll see here that is uh, uh we have a general name we call it as alums A L U M S Alums. yeah write down alums so what are alums alums are the compounds and these are the compounds which are the mixture of mixture of potassium sulfate and aluminum sulfate potassium and aluminum sulfate i did not do anything pradyum since noise from your side was coming i muted you not i did not unmute you actually yeah that is for uh, for i think i muted you that's why you got the message
anyways not a problem so you know right so alums are what and alums are in general these are the compounds of potassium and aluminium sulfate right which is dissolved in concentrated water right this kind of compound we also call it as double salt okay general formula you see okay the general formula is we can write down the general formula is r2so4 dot m so4 whole thrice m2so4 whole thrice dot 24h2 this is the general formula of lm okay where r is the r is the monovalent metal monovalent metal like na plus k plus and so on. m is the trivalent cation trivalent cation al3 plus we can have fe3 plus and all these correct so if if you look at the formula of potash alum potash alum the formula is k2so4 dot al2so4 whole dot 24 h2o understood this this compound is potash alum this kind of compound we call it as double salt when you dissolve this in water so it will dissociate in various ions like suppose if you dissolve this in water what all ions we get could you tell me we get here in water it dissociates as k plus i'm not balancing it out just ions i'm writing it on k plus you will get you'll get al3 plus plus you'll get sulfate ion so4 2 minus and water will be there so water will write down as it is like this it dissociates so this kinds of additional compound dot dot if you have right this kind of additional compound we call it as double salt okay three types of compounds basically we have simple compound like nacl s2so4 type the second is this and third one is complex compound which we'll discuss in class 12 this compound is potash alum formula also they have asked many times in the exam so you must remember the formula of potash alum okay so this is it for this chapter next we are going to start with group 2 that is alkaline earth metal okay